Alright guys, so what I'm first going to do is use a spoolie and I'm going to brush through my brows, kind of get them how I want them, sort of shaped. I know some people, they like to brush them upwards, but I just like to kind of get them laying towards the direction that I want it. What I'm going to do is just use an e.l.f. eyeshadow primer just to help keep them in place. I don't usually set my brows. I just kind of put this lightly over on top just so they don't move and they stay in the position that I brushed them. Just like that. I use this one only for my brows, just so you know. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to use the spoolie once more just to make sure they're nice and set in the position I want them to be. Okay, and I'm going to use my Maybelline New York Define a Brow in medium brown. And it has a little comb on the end that I use sometimes. Okay, here we go. So first I just click the top, the very top of it, to about that much, not too much. Doesn't take a lot. And I start sculpting out, Ooh, let's get in focus here. Start sculpting out the very front. And I go right above the arch here. Just light strokes. This pencil's pretty creamy. It's not on the the hard side, so I start filling in the tail. And then I go underneath a little bit here. Sometimes I feather it up. Just following my natural arch. And then going towards the tail. And I try to brush it a little bit. Twist up the pencil a little bit more. Try to fill in the tail part, like that. I have a couple sparse areas, so I like to kind of shape my brow first, kind of outline it first. Then I fill it in a little bit, fill in the front a little bit. Just like that. And I like to comb the front, use the front of the comb, mainly in the front, just to kind of soften it a little bit. I don't typically go for the faded look, just going with my natural brow. It's not too sparse in the front, so I just do that with it. Here's how this one looks. Sparse on the ends, mainly. And I just outlined it. Okay. Okay, after doing that, I like to use the NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown, which looks like this. And it has a little brush on the end. Sometimes I've used the brush, other times I don't. It just depends. Depends on if I'm in a rush or not. 
Okay, now this one, even though it's dark brown, got a warmer undertone to it. So it's not, it's more like a chocolate brown. So just beware if you're going to get this color. Now since my hair has some, some red undertones in it and it's really warm, I'm going to use this pencil just to help bring in that color to my brows. So just going to lightly blend that in. Adding this color. Mainly in the arch towards the tail. And I can use that brush again. Just like that. So it adds the, the red tone, undertone in there. The warmer color. Into my brow. to use my e.l.f. brow kit and I do not use the wax because the wax is too dark for me I don't like it so I use this color the light brown just to lighten my brows a little bit so I'm gonna take this little I think it's a Revlon brush eyebrow brush it's pretty it's pretty thick um, and I just go into that brown just dab it a couple times, tap it off, okay, and I just blend, help blend everything together. It also helps smooth the hairs as well. So, after that, I'll use my spoolie, kind of spoolie through them, just a tad bit, and they do stay in place all day for me. So this is the done side. They look like done compared to the non-done side. It makes a difference. When people tell you that doing your brows, filling in your brows does make a difference. Even if I use that um, eyebrow kit, that e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and just use the light color, it will still make a difference. But I like to shape it first, starting from the inner portion, work my way down to the edge. Then I like to come in, sketch it out to the end, okay? And then after that, I fill it in a little bit on my sparse area, which would be on this side. Okay. And then after that, I fill it in. And that's pretty much all I do. So, I hope you enjoy this eyebrow tutorial and it helps you out. Thanks for watching.